of the spine guys who had climbed over the edge. It leaps down onto the ground, puts its hands on the blade, the Sword of Fathoms oh. as well, and pushes down as it stabs all the way through Ford's chest. The breath leaves his mouth. Whoops. <coughs> all right. We got diamonds, right? <laughs> Oh, regard. Caleb, it's your turn. You just became the captain. Uh, thinking about the conversation I had with Ford, just yesterday I drag uh, dust up my arm and point my hand at the head one and cast Disintegrate. Oh, yes. shit. Yes! Alrighty. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Like the ocean IRS. Deck saving throw for that? Yeah. It will find more chaos. Sometimes justice can bring closure, Caduceus. The only thing I've ever found that brings closure is when everyone's finally on the ground. <laughs> From my experience. We have no choice but to see this meeting through. Of course. Yasha, you spent time most of your life in the empire, in the dynasty. What do you think? And uh, and there in the deck, I'd say it's about maybe uh, nineteen to hit. Maybe seven feet. Seven. Okay. Yeah, it's not. It's tight. It's Historically, not, it's very they were like five feet. Hmm? Historically, they were like five feet. This is a fantasy world. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have a question. Oh, with you on. Nineteen. Like nineteen. And psychic. You are unconscious. Uh, hits you with an autocritical, you immediately lose two death saving throws. Oh! Two down. So you only get that relentless endurance thing once a day? Once a day. All right, that finishes his turn. You see as like it's jamming the blade into Ford's chest, as Ford screams out and he goes unconscious and is like digging into his sternum with the blade, like he's trying to carve a watermelon. Pull out a health potion. Oh! This is in my hand. <laughs> All right, uh, Ford, Ford, it's your turn. Oh, oh, you make a death saving shit. throw for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is it. Oh, I hate this. Right. Yeah, this is like the worst. Hello. All right, that's a success. That's a success. It'll Yasha, your turn. It. Too stressful. Okay. Um, you so are grappled and you are in melee with um, me. <laughs> it's thrilling, though. I can see where Jester gets all of her exuberance and, and personality. It was quite, quite amazing. Well, thank you very much. What happened to your hat? You know, it was such a hit, someone just up and snatched that bitch in the middle of the party. <laughs> that is unfortunate. I agree. It was I can such... have another one made for you. Oh! Could you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll pull some strings. <laughs> yes, and then you'll have to wear it all the time for it, because it will be a gift from Mama. Uh, 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 all right, I would love that. <clears throat> I can see your discomfort. Do not worry, it's okay. Oh, no, I... I... Just give in for it, just say it's okay, don't do it. I... Oh, don't do it or do it. Don't do it. Fuck, what? Um, <laughs> let, no. let what you want be known to the world. I really don't wear a hat very well. It's, I value this family, Ford. Because I killed my own. For these people that we are going to deal with. You understand me? My own. And, and I'm ruined. But I take comfort in the fact that I have a chance to do something to make up for it. And I am very grateful for these people. And you, you're a good friend. And I felt like that needed to be said out loud. I'm glad you're here. I admit I can't even begin to fathom. As a founding member of the Chaos Crew, why is Bo so distrustful of the Traveler, considering that he mainly just encourages Jester's chaotic nature? 
because what? Come on! <laughs> crazy man, we are like getting aggressive towards every question. It's really bad. Y'all gotta call CD88. Get down here right now so we can I'll yell at you. For yourself, CD88. This is bullshit. You asked my face. <laughs> Don't hide behind. I'm How really dare you hide behind Reddit? It's not you. It's not anybody. No, it's I'm so really sorry. It's not you. Um, but what the fuck? <laughs> he is a creepy man from the Feywild who pretended to be like an eight-year-old <laughs> and befriended a little girl and then led her to believe that he was a god. Because he wanted a friend. I guess. Yeah, I was waiting for Chris Hansen to show up at any moment and say I'm gonna need- Do you have to, you have to cast a spell to ban for that again? What do you, what do you, what do you call it? Do you call it Widowgast's Plane? Well, Is that what you call it? I call it uh, Widowgast, I just call it the Vault of Amber. But it's Widowgast's Widow 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 Vault of Amber. That sounds really catchy. Yeah, that does sound catchy. W-V-O-A. I mean, only if you were to put it into oh. some sort of player's Handbook or something. <laughs> something that would last forever and sort of immortalize your name in, let's, the, in let's the canon forever? Get, let's not get ridiculous. <laughs> this is just. Leia? Like, Leia. Yeah, like map. you, Ford. Like you. I am. Okay. You do have a very forward <laughs> sense of branding, Caleb. Yeah. Learn that a lot. That would be. Do I really? I am not using my actual name. You know what a great <laughs> friend would do? <laughs> Take it away, <laughs> Ashley. Sorry. You got the perfect warlock, her weapons and supplies. Close? <laughs> but you need a place to check your stuff, cause you're so disorganized. <laughs> no. <laughs> Click open a web page. That's the same. You heard about our critical role. That's good. And now you're ready to kick some butt hey. in a mine shaft full of no. nerds. It's D&D. D a D beyond. That's good. It's that's D &D. good. D &D. <laughs> you got your snaps. You got your swords. You got your stuff. <laughs> and you got your invisible wand. It's D and D. D and D. D and D beyond. You summon the sword to your hand, and what stares back at you? is not the ruined blade that you found on this journey, but the familiar curved falchion with a singular yellow eye looking back, and you feel a burning pain in your chest. It burns even brighter and hotter, and suddenly it's a pain that is unbearable. As you come to consciousness, trying to scream, but you're winded. As a dark figure stands over your bed, a blade plunged in your chest. Oh. Not, not the fucking girl! So after it slices Orly, and Orly kind of uh, falls on the ground, it jumps on top, takes the blade and jams it from the side of the shelf no. through the armpit mm -mm. and inside Orly's torso, and it kind of uh, 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 oh, and then shit. twists on the inside, and Orly just goes limp. Oh, oh, and pulls the blade out. <sighs> Gills kind of like Have never had the sides of its neck. Two gills, no. like, and we're not even near done. Said, we haven't. I barely touch these fuckers. I'm still lying in bed. There's two guys left? There's, there's two, two big guys left. <laughs> Are there any little guys left? I have not been able to get out of bed. Yes, yes. there is. <laughs> little guy right here. Okay, I thought I'm just a guy. guy. I know. Psycho guy. It's a dynamic, so I'm just like. We got a All right. small guy. All right, Caduceus, you're up. Um, oh, that, fuck. you as well. What? What's that? You're, you're up. up next. After oh, fucking crazy. great. I'm She's going to so take my move by like the chest. Don't you fucking do And is going to attempt to dimension door. Counter spell. Yes. Fourth level. <gasps> and does not go anywhere. Oh, oh, well, no, because it is a fifth level spell because it's a warlock, so you do still have to roll. Okay. Oh, oh God. boy. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's all fifth level slots as a warlock, so roll. Oh, what am I doing here? Rolling against. You're rolling, and I. D10 plus this. Mm. Plus this spell's level. And it's my. So D10. 
And I add my modifier, right? Correct, your yeah. intelligence modifier. 17. He does not move. Oh! Oh. It goes ahead and you watch as this purple energy begins to rise. This kind of like dark ocean begins to swell up around the two of them, and as it releases the incantation to slam the ground, Caleb flying up sends his hands down in this wave of this like net, the spiraling net of arcane runes kind of scrabbles around and shatters the growing doorway. Suddenly, well, I'll be back in a couple weeks, I think. Okay. We'll be here. Okay. We probably have like 10 minutes before I have to leave, so take off your pants. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> you have to learn how to do it yourself. But at least, you know, it will a, teach her how to move in the water. There's a fair difference between, you know, well, I mean, you know, at port is not so bad, actually. I mean, are we throwing her out on a rope behind the ship? No! While we're moving? Is that what you want to do? <laughs> I think that's a great right idea. Now, I, yeah. start the, uh, I was just coming by. Did really someone say they needed rope? I've got so much rope. No. Are we doing something? No, we're not doing that. Oh, uh, I'm going to go back to playing with the wheel. I actually agree with you. Oh, wait, so. Caduceus. All right, rope. Oh. I'm going to help you make some tea. Okay. Caleb! Mm. Were you napping? No, I'm standing three feet away from the <laughs> <laughs> Do you want some tea? Of course, I want some tea, thank you. I'm gonna go help Caduceus make tea. Alrighty. <laughs> oh, we'll, ta we'll table the swim lessons for now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's been the weirdest metaphor for learning how to drive stick shift I've ever sat through. <laughs> Come here. What? It was a joke. What? The hat was a joke. It can't be. I've gotten so many compliments on it today. <laughs> it's part of my look. If you like it, embrace it. But I got this a joke. Fuck this hat. <laughs> 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 well, if you if you see anything, you know, just let me know because I've been I've been collecting quite a, quite a bit of money. Um, well, if you need somewhere to keep it, I can act as the accountant, I guess, in this arrangement. Well, and yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Um, here, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you. Um, uh, I'll, I'll leave you a hundred platinum. You give it to me. He goes. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, well, you know, I shouldn't be carrying this with me. What if I lose it or something? What if I lose it? Um, and he quickly puts it in his pocket. And says, "I have. Wow. Uh, yeah, go with your friends." <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's crazy. Dude, we, we, we make a lot of money. I think I could probably find a place. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um. Okay. Yeah. No. I'll get on that. Oh, or no. Caster for the win. Um, I would like to shimmy around this side of the mast, right. and I'm going to release <laughs> and fall about five to ten feet, and I am going to cast um, Hexblade's Curse at the gentleman that's uh, wielding the falchion below me, just just okay. about five feet after I fall. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. And then I'm gonna use... Through the air, just <laughs> curse And him. then I'm going to far step back up to the crow's nest. All right. Yes. On top. Yay. That's rad. That was so cool. She watches you fall, and as you concentrate outward, your sword behind... Uh, that would be nine points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. 